Welcome back to Blue Tongue TV, my name's Joe and today we're going to look at recessive genetics. Now the term recessive in genetics means that for the progeny to display a trait, the parents have to both at least carry the trait. Okay, so to illustrate that today, we're going to use the albino blue tongue. Okay, so when we pair an albino blue tongue to a normal wild type animal, we're going to get a full litter of what we call heterozygous animals, which will all look like this. They all look like wild type animals, but they all indeed actually carry a copy of the albino gene. Now the term heterozygous means two separate things joined together. Hetero meaning two different entities and zygous joined together. So there we have it, a full litter of hets. Now, once those hets are grown up and we compare them together, that's when the magic's going to start. So we're going to pair these guys together and then in the resultant litter, 25% or one in four of the animals is going to come out as an albino. Now that's fine, we know what that animal is, it's visually albino, we can tell what it is. It's the other animals, the other 75% of the litter, these guys that where the problems come when it comes to deciphering what they are. So two out of every three of them are actually heterozygous for albino, the other one is a normal wild type. And this is where the problem pops up for the reptile community is how we label these. And the term that's actually used is 66% het. And that is because two out of three of these guys are het for albino. Now, expressed as a percentage, two out of three is 66%. So there it is. That's the term, 66% het albino explained. The next pairing we're gonna look at and this one starts to get a little bit more exciting, is by pairing an albino to a 100% heterozygous animal. Now the litter here is gonna see your percentage of albinos in the litter rise. You're now gonna be looking at 50% of the litter being albino. So that's one in two. So in a sample of the litter in four animals, on average, you're gonna get a couple of albs and a couple of heterozygous animals. Okay, the next pairing is when we pair albino to albino. Now these guys are homozygous albino, which means two of the same things joined together. Homo meaning two of the same entity, and zygous again meaning joined together. So when we pair these guys, you're gonna get a full litter of albinos. And there we have it, you're gonna have a nice full litter of albinos. Can't be anything else in the litter, has to be a full litter of albinos because the parents are homozygous albino. Okay, so that's recessive genetics explained, but now we're actually gonna take a step over into the classroom and you guys are gonna meet Dr. Steve, who's gonna take us through recessive genetics from a more scientific approach. This is really good guys, so make sure you're listening. G'day guys, I'm Steve and I'm going to explain how to use Punnett squares for recessive traits. Firstly, you need to know the genotype of both parents. That is the gene combination that each parent possesses. The normal wild type or dominant gene is usually symbolized as a capital letter, and the recessive gene adds lowercase. You then place a parent at the top and to the left of the Punnett square, writing each gene it carries to the corresponding square. For this example, we will use a head-to-head -head pairing, so that means each parent has a single copy normal wild type gene and a single copy of the recessive gene, but they both look like wild type animals. Each of the four squares of the Punnett square represents the genotype of 25% of the offspring. This is based on statistics and there may be a small amount of variation. Each of the offspring receive one gene from their father and one gene from their mother. Transferring the parent genes into the Punnett squares, you can see the possible combinations in their offspring. Approximately 25% of the offspring will carry two copies of the recessive gene and display the trait, such as albinism. These animals are homozygous recessive. Approximately 25% will carry two copies of the normal wild type or dominant gene. They are homozygous dominant. The other 50% carry a copy of each of the recessive and normal wild type genes. They are heterozygous, or hets for short. You can see here 
that two out of the three, or 66% of the normal looking animals, are hets. And this is where the term 66% het comes from. A normal looking animal from a het to het pairing has a 66% chance of being heterozygous. Thanks for listening guys, and be sure to watch the next episode on co-dominant inheritance.